Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Cloud Adrenaline, and I recently hit 1,000 subscribers. So when I did my last vlog, I made a promise that when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I would do a Q&A video. And that's this! Roll on the things! So just before getting into answering any of your questions, I just wanted to say a serious thank you to everyone that subscribed to me and watched any of my videos, because it really means a lot. I'm really thankful to all the support that everyone's been giving me throughout doing YouTube, and I finally managed to earn my first comma on my subscribe account. And it's all thanks to you guys, so seriously, thank you all. And now on with the questions! So how I want to do this is, I'll start by answering the questions that have really short answers, because some of the ones that I plan to answer have a couple of stories behind them, so I'll get into them later. So to start with, Lemon Games TY asks, What's your fave animal? With like a bajillion animal emojis afterwards. So this one's kind of easy to answer. If you look at most of my thumbnails, there's one animal that recurs through them all, and it's a turtle! <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure why I love turtles so much, but it's just something about them that's just- I, I can't even explain it. I just love turtles. But yeah, if I had to narrow it down to one animal, it would probably be the turtle. The humblest of all the shelled creatures. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Next up, Pixel Monkey asks, Can you prank call Ollie telling him that you accidentally deleted his YouTube channel? And also, if you're a Pokemon, which would you be and what would your attack be? So, for the first question, Ollie's currently in America, and I don't really want to pay to call all the way over there. Also, I think he's probably busy. Um, I'll probably call him at some point. We'll see. And to answer the second part, if I was a Pokemon, I'd probably be an Ampharos. The second generation has, by and large, probably been my favorite generation of Pokemon. Like, both in the games and the Pokemon in it. And Ampharos has been my favorite since I was about, like, five. Other than that, he recently got his Mega Evolution, and he looks fabulous because of it, which has only just made him even more of my favorite, to be honest. And if I had an attack, it would probably be Tail Whip, but instead of whipping my tail, it would be my hair. I would whip my hair back and forth. Lizzie and Joel YT asked, What's your favorite color? So, I've used it a lot in channel arts and DPs, and I'm even wearing it now, so my favorite color is blue. I think it's always been blue. It kind of, it kind of matches. It's a bluey green, mainly because I guess it's a calm color, I guess? Blue's, blue's usually a calm color. You know, if you're stressed, just stare at a blue wall for a while and that might help out. Maybe, I guess. Don't stare at blue walls. It's not a good use of your time. There's probably a million better things you could be doing than staring at blue wall, but it'll make you calm. Blah, 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 blah. On Instagram, Katie Beard asked, what is my favorite anime? Da 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 so that's actually a really difficult question. I spend way too much time watching anime if, with my life. But if I had to narrow it down to a series that I've loved for the longest amount of time, it'd probably be Digimon. At Christmas, my friend even went out and got me this, which is a ridiculously old toy from my childhood that one of my friends managed to actually hunt down and get off eBay from some lady in Canada. So thanks to her. And then if you do this, he'll digivolve. No, no, hang on. Oh, he's a fiddly one. He's a fiddly one. When I originally had this toy, I actually broke off his arm because I was too rough of it. I've not learned any lessons since then. I'm still probably going to destroy it at some point in the future. Did Digivolve change into a digital champion? You can be stronger than this, Greymon. Or should I say Metal Greymon? He's kind of in between at the moment. Greymon Digivolve into... Digivolve into Metal Greymon! Wow. I'm like 21. I'm playing with toys. I love it. You talking to me? This is what this video has become. <laughs> me just playing with Digimon toys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put him like here. Eh. And last up for the short questions, Save Infinity asks, what do your parents think of your YouTubing hobby? So, I don't actually know. Um, since I started, my mom in particular has had to put up with my constant excitement about doing new things on this channel. And she's been really supportive about it. She's just kind of been putting up with it at the moment, but... When I was originally gonna film this, I was gonna try and attack my mom with the camera just to see what she thought, but she started getting nervous about appearing on camera. So I thought it was probably a bad idea to throw the camera in her face and force her to be on this video. But that doesn't mean to say that I'm not gonna do it in the future. My poor mom, she puts up with me. She puts up with me so well. On to the longer questions. I say longer. On to the longer answered questions. That doesn't have as much of a ring to it. La da da, la da cha da da. KK991123 asks, what did you study at uni? And what made you decide to start YouTube? So at university, I studied chemistry, which is four years of my life I spent wandering around a lab pretending I knew what I was doing and trying not to make the place explode. I actually made the place explode on the first day. I genuinely caused an explosion on the first day. I set fire to the desk. It wasn't pretty. I ended up using my lab book to try and beat out the fire. Millions were dead. 
the fire burned down everything. It didn't burn down anything, really. The desk was actually pretty well equipped to deal with the fire. But that's a little insight into how I plan to do on results day, which is soon. As to why I started YouTube, I didn't actually originally decide to start YouTube. Before I started this channel, I was actually a part of a much, much, much smaller channel called Film Nights, which I'm gonna regret linking down, down there, down here-ish. And that was with my best friend, Sam who has been in the Undertale series. It was a show where we did film commentary. It was kind of like a let's watch instead of a let's play. It didn't really work out. We got two episodes done and the format of it didn't go as well as it probably could have. And with me being so new to editing footage, having to cut down a good two hours of film footage into an, a 10 minute episode just wasn't feasible. So that channel ended pretty quickly after it started. I think we went for about three weeks. After that, I kind of grew a bit of a taste for it. I was really enjoying all of the recording and the editing and just everything about it. So with Sam's permission, because I didn't want to go behind his back, I decided to start my own channel. That's kind of how I ended up starting, which leads into the next question, which is by Rochelle Cutie Pie, who asks why I chose the name Cloudredalyn. So Film Nights ended about two years ago and Literally from that point on, all I could think about was how I was gonna start this new channel, which is this one. And one of the first hurdles that I got stuck on for literally months was, what name was I gonna commit to? What was the name of this channel gonna be? And for ages, there were very generic things. Originally I was gonna go with something like Pixel Bit Gaming. I think that was actually gonna be my name at one point. But after searching it, I realized it was a pretty generic name and I wanted something that was somewhat unique to me. So I just started smashing different words together and seeing if they sounded okay. And then one day I just decided, hey, let's smash the word cloud and adrenaline together. And it ended up as Cloudrenaline. And after seeing zero results come up when I searched it, I felt like that should be my name. At first, I wasn't even going to call myself Cloudrenaline. Cloudrenaline was just going to be a channel name, not actually a persona I took on. As you can see in the first video where I call it my show, I think. Hey guys, and welcome to my show, uh, Cloudrenaline. But as time go on, but as time go on, but as time went on, I eventually began to adopt it as my name for the channel. And that's how I ended up coming up with it, and that's how it's been something that I've stuck with for over a year now. The final question I'm going to answer is from the one and only Trav, who asks, What does the future hold for you now that you're finished with school? So this month, I finished my master's in chemistry at the University of Hull, and I'm set to graduate, like, next month, if I pass. But I don't actually plan to finish with education just yet. I plan to be doing a PGCE in chemistry, which means I'm learning to teach people how to learn chemistry. Wait, how did that sound? And that's pretty much what the future holds. So on a closing note for this video, I thought I'd make a suggestion. Because of my parents moving house and me still adjusting to the area, I wondered if you guys would be interested in me doing like a house tour video, just so you can get to know the new place that I'm gonna be recording in from now on. Also, I think it'd be fun to terrorize my cat by following her around with a camera for a while. But if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, then please, by all means, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you all. So yeah, although I didn't manage to answer them all, I hope I managed to answer most of the important questions and maybe I'll do another Q&A video in a while. But until then, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thank you all so much for subscribing. <laughs>